Hello, I have what I think are the best one and done eyeshadows right here. This is my comfort zone in my everyday life. I wear way more one step eyeshadows than I do full out eyeshadow looks. A lot of these are cream formulas, some are powders, stick eyeshadows. I do have a few that I pull from palettes that I'll be sharing with you as well. And I'll be swatching each of them on my hand as well as on my eyes. I've actually had this video idea down on my content calendar for about four or five months. And I've been seeing these videos pop up here and there. And I thought now is the time to finally do it. I need to get this done. You guys have been asking me for it. So here it is. This is in no particular order. I love all of these for different reasons. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If this is your first time here, or if you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I would love it if you consider doing so before the end of this video. All right, let's go ahead and get into these fantastic one and done, one swipe eyeshadows. I'm gonna go by brand because I think that's just gonna be a little bit easier to navigate. So for me personally, a good one and done shadow has a little bit of dimension to it, a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not a sheen that emphasizes anything bad like texture or you know wrinkles or anything. It's flattering, easy to blend out and last well on the lids. I'm gonna go ahead and get the one out of the way that I've talked about so many times on my channel because I mean, you know it's coming. I have two here from Giorgio Armani, and I will start with Cold Copper. Now I have the old packaging just because I have two in backup to get through before I get to the new packaging. This is such a beautiful taupey shade that applies beautifully, blends out beautifully in the crease. It lasts well and it's flattering on so many people because it is that taupey neutral. This is great for work, great to dress up. This is just one of my favorite neutral go with everything flattering shades. I've gone through more of these than I have any other one and done shade in my collection. My next one from Giorgio Armani is Rose Gold. <laughs> Hey guys, editing Stephanie here. Before I move on, I needed to add in a note about the lid swatching from here forward. I almost took the lid swatches completely out because a lot of the swatching looked pretty rough or just downright bad, but I knew it would be helpful for some of you to have an idea of what the shades look like on my lids. I did all of the lid swatching on the same day, and when you're dealing with a lot of products that set down really well and then need to be wiped off and you do that over and over, it just looks kind of rough. So just know that these products look really, really beautiful when they're on fresh eyes with fresh makeup. But during this video, you'll see just, you know, some kind of unblended swatching, some red lids. It's done mostly for shade purposes, and I hope that it's somewhat helpful. Okay, we can resume. This is the metallic formula, which you would think would be kind of unflattering. It's actually very forgiving in terms of texture on the eyes. It's also the perfect shade of rose gold, in my opinion. A lot of rose golds can be a little bit too deep or too pink, and it's just kind of the perfect blend. It's actually what I picture in my mind to be rose gold. I find it to be extremely flattering and easy to wear. It goes with a lot of things and just looks beautiful. Next up is the Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in the shade Houdini from JCat Beauty. This is a special shade. It's got a little bit of glimmer to it, but not so much glimmer that you have to reserve it for a special occasion. It's a bronzy, olivey green shade that has kind of a gold reflect to it. It's really pretty, very unique. And the moussey texture of these is really nice. They apply very easily, blend out easily before they set down, and they're just really beautiful on the lids. I have to go to Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks next. I have three shades here. I wear these so much in my everyday life, not just as one and done, one step eyeshadows, but I combine them together. I line with them, not these shades. I use various shades. These are just so easy to work with and just beautiful on the lids. So the shades that I use the most by themselves are metallic taupe, copper and rose gold. Metallic taupe is such a gorgeous metallic taupe shade. It's a special shade because it gives you a lot of sheen, but it's wearable sheen. It's not too over the top for anyone, I don't think. I don't 
think Laura Mercier creates shades that are too over the top. And that's kind of what she's known for is creating wearable makeup. Copper is the same way. It's a gorgeous copper shade that like any of these can be sheared out or built up and it just looks absolutely beautiful and coppery and gorgeous on the lids. Rose gold kind of threw me off at first because I expected a rose gold very similar to the Giorgio Armani rose gold. But to me, this is more of a champagne shade. It's not really rose gold. I'm not quite sure why it has the name rose gold. I love it for the shade that it is, but I don't reach for it when I want a rose gold. I reach for it when I want a, a champagne subtle shimmer. It's not a metallic. It's just a very subtle flattering champagne shade that I find is necessary for me in my day-to-day -day life. I have two shades here from Nude Sticks that I use very regularly. I've talked about them here on my channel pretty frequently. One is obviously shorter than the other, which means I've used it quite a lot. What's a little bit different about Nude Sticks from these others is that you do have to work kind of quickly because they set quickly. So I usually will color my lid with one eye, blend it out, and then move to the other. I actually do that anyway, but it's necessary with this formula. But what's good about that is that these are bulletproof even in hot sweaty weather I mean they just are budge proof no matter what I think that's why they're so popular the first shade the short shade is nudity I use this a lot on a day-to-day -day basis it's a really versatile shade it is just kind of a shade that's there and flattering. It's great for casual days. It's great for work or dressy days. It's just a super versatile kind of pinky neutral. It's not really the same as rose gold that I just showed you from Laura Mercier. It's not as pink as the Giorgio Armani rose gold. It hits somewhere in between. It's just very flattering and a great neutral. The other is Twilight which is a great taupey neutral that's a little bit deeper than cold copper. I like this for a one and done look that gives me a little bit more, a little bit of drama. This is good for daytime or nighttime, but it just has a little bit of depth to it. It's really, really pretty. A stick eyeshadow I really, really love using that's on the bronzy brown side is this by Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade Bronze Moon. It's deep and gives dimension, but blends out really, really nicely, so it's not overwhelmingly deep. It can give a dramatic effect depending on how opaque you go with it. It has such a flattering sheen to it. It's just a really, really beautiful, beautiful formula. It lasts a long time on the eyes. I mean, it's by Terry. It's going to be good, but it is super, super flattering if you like a deeper look. Now, if you're someone who likes a coppery shade, I know there's a lot of us out there. This is great for those of you with blue eyes. The Pixi Endless Shade Stick in the shade One and Done is really beautiful. It has a great metallic sheen to it. It lasts forever on the lids. I've spoken about this formula before. I have it in a dupes video recently, actually. I'll link that video down below. I have just been super impressed with this and this is the shade that I really enjoy using and blending out as a one and done shade. The name is very appropriate for this. Let's throw in a powder eyeshadow. Now this is the old formula. They have reformulated this. I just have not seen this shade in person where I am. I know they still make it. I'll have this and all the products that I can locate in the description box for you. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the shade Nutty. This is a great shimmery taupe shade to swipe on with a finger and blend out with a brush. It gives a great effect. I personally like using creams better for this, but I know there's some people who really like powder formulas and there are some great powder formulas that I have in this video. And this is one of them, especially for the price. I'll stick with powders for a little bit. I feel like these shadows are never talked about and I don't know why because they're really good. They're $14. These are the Tardis Metallic Shadows. I have the shades Shakedown and Grind. I would describe Shakedown as a taupey gold. 
with a just really pretty subtle metallic sheen. It's flattering, it blends out well, they're really really pretty. I would describe Grind as kind of a grungy metallic taupey silver. That taupe comes in to bring a little bit of warmth to it so it's not too cool and it makes it a little bit more wearable on a daily basis. I just really like these. I think the quality is really great and I don't know why we don't hear about them more. I reach for two of my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize shadows more than the other for one and done shades, that is. Rose Gold and Marie Antoinette, which has been renamed Oyster Pearl. So if you're not finding Marie Antoinette, it is Oyster Pearl now. These have a really moussey light texture to them and they blend out super, super easily. You can kind of shear it out if you want or leave it a little bit more opaque and it builds on itself really nicely. And they do set down and wear really, really well and just give a really flattering sheen to the lids. I mean, do you guys just want to start taking a drink every time I say the word sheen at this point? Because I'm saying it a lot in this video. <laughs> I think the rose gold shade is a really nice warm shade of rose gold. It's a little warmer and a little bit darker than that Giorgio Armani shade. I find a place for both of them. Marie Antoinette, or the newly named Oyster Pearl, is a little bit deeper than the Armani Cold Copper. It's just a really beautiful, kind of antiqued, bronzy gold. Really flattering on a lot of people and it has a little bit of depth to it too. So the formula that I have on my eyes is kind of new to me, but I'm pretty impressed. These are the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lid Paints. They are very flattering and they have dimension. They don't emphasize anything bad. I squeeze these out from the tube directly onto my finger and I spread them out on my lid and then blend them out with a brush. And I find that they go on kind of sheer and I can build them up if I want to. Amaretto is an affordable, really pretty silvered taupe. And the shade Sorry Sweetie is what's on my eyes now and it's just a really nice, kind of basic champagne that I think is really nice for anyone to have in their one and done eyeshadow wardrobe. It's an affordable option and I have it just kind of nice and sheared out, which is the look that I wanted. And when I sheared it out, it kind of brought out some sparkles that I really couldn't see on the hand swatch when it was kind of opaque, but I like it a lot. It just gave it a little, a little something that I didn't know was there. These are my two favorite shades to wear for special occasions. If you like a glimmery special look, but you don't enjoy fallout and you want something that's very easy to apply, the Hourglass Scattered Light shadows are definitely for you. They are so easy to apply and just look so stunning. I have the shades Smoke and Reflect. Reflect has kind of a silvered pink hue to it. I just love the way that this looks alone or topped over another shadow to just really amp it up. And Reflect has that same taupey shade that's so universally pretty across so many different skin tones and colorings. And this just gives a slightly more dramatic look and can be used again alone or over shadows for just such a super special look. I really don't think that you have to reserve these for special occasions. They're so stunning for any occasion. I just think these are a product that everyone needs. I haven't found anything that truly duplicates them or comes close in terms of finish and, and gorgeousness and ease of application. They're just truly unique in my opinion. Now as a neutrals girl, this kind of a shade is a little bit different for me, but there's something about this shade that just does it for me. So this is from Sydney Grace and this shade is called Starry Night and it's just stunning. I would say it's a duochrome, but there is like a triple chrome thing going on here. You can see some brown and kind of purple in here, but also some blue and green, sort of. It's really just beautiful and can have different effects based on how thin or thick you apply it. It's gorgeous all over the lid. It's really pretty with other shadows and something that's a little bit different and unexpected. I love pairing it with something warmer and kind of peachy as a transition shade as well. It's just stunning and it's one of those shades that's going to look a little bit different depending on how the light hits it. 
I'd say that ColourPop Glass Bowl is kind of the icier, cooler version of the Sydney Grace shadow that I just showed you, and it's also in powder form. It's definitely a duochrome. It's got some silver blue, pink, purple going on in there, and it changes depending on how the light hits it. It's stunning on its own. It's stunning when it's layered over other shadows. I do feel like there's been a lot of hype around this shadow, but there's a reason why. Uh, it's fun, it's versatile, and it's just really, really pretty to just swipe on the lid and blend out and go. So really quickly, I'm going to share some palettes that I pull some great one and done shades from. The first one I'm going to start with is the Persona Identity Palette because I recently talked about this. So I'm just going to get this one out of the way. This is obviously a great palette overall, but there are specifically three one and done shades. These three right here that I really like to use. I'll start with this one. It's called Bombshell. It's a silver taupey shade that has some green to it. It's very unique. Unique. The quality in this palette is unsurpassed. When I tell you you can swipe this on and leave it very opaque, you can sheer it out. These shadows don't budge. They blend seamlessly and just give such a beautiful finish that's great for any texture you have on your lids. I adore this shade. A lot of times you think I'm wearing some kind of a green shadow when I have this on camera. I do feel like there's a little bit of gold in it too, but it's this. It's bombshell. This shade right here is called Seductive, and it's just kind of a silvery taupe, but it's a little cooler than a lot of the taupes that you've seen, and it's just got this incredible shine to it super flattering, very easy to work with, very quick and stunning. This shade right here is called Gold Digger. It is kind of an antiqued gold. It's not too gold and too warm. It's just a very soft shade that I think is very flattering. I don't really like a harsh gold on me that a lot of palettes have. This one is just perfect and, and very flattering. You know what? I decided to go ahead and show this shade right here, Goddess, because I do wear that shade too as a one and done. It's just a little deeper than some of the shades I've showed today. It's kind of a chocolate brown. Maybe it's a little lighter than chocolate and it's got a little bronze to it too. It's really, really pretty. It can give you a deep look, but it will blend out nicely if you want to, you know, kind of go a little more transparent in the crease area. So that's one of the reasons why I think this palette is so versatile because you do, you know, of course, get your complex looks, but you also get some really great everyday one and done shades. We have the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace. This is the collaboration with Mel Thompson. This shade Marvel here and this shade over here, Scarab, are the two that I use a ton for one and done looks. I kind of feel like the shade Scarab is the powder shade of the Sydney Grace liquid shade I showed you earlier. It is stunning. And then that shade Marvel is just a beautiful rose gold and Sydney Grace's formula is just so easy to work with and beautiful for one and done shades that you can just swipe on with a finger and blend out and be done. I wanted to pull out the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette because this green shade right here is just so pretty on the lids. It's a little cooler than other greens I've showed you here today. Now I did swatch this peach and this kind of sheer shimmery shade because you could technically wear all three and I have worn all three, but the green one just really stands out to me. That's the one I'm gonna swatch on my lids for you today because I just think that that one, just, I don't know, it just does something for me. The formula of her shimmers is really, really just easy, easy to work with and to swipe on with a finger and blend out. In a recent video, I talked about how much I'm loving and will be using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette because of the combination of shades that I can make and because of the one and done shades I can pull from here. And in that video, I did basically have kind of a one and done look going and I will link you to that. I'm gonna swatch a few of these on the back of my hand so that you can see just kind of the variation in depth that you can get and the options that you have here for one and done looks with this palette. So I really do enjoy pulling from this palette for one and done looks. It just gives you a ton 
of options. Leave your favorite one and done shadows down in the comments below. I wanna know your favorites. I mean, I probably could have had even more in this video. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a ton of one and done shadows to share with you guys. I hope you found it fun and helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, become part of the family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.